The chromatic rarity and chroma credits are going to be removed from the game and there are a lot of changes to talk about. Stick around till the end to find out about an amazing community event coming to Brawl Stars. So every chromatic brawler will have their rarity reassigned to an existing one and all of them, excluding Charlie, will also be available on Star Road in the next update. Charlie will be available on Star Road right after the Bizarre Circus ends. So now that you know that chromatic rarity is going to be removed, the question lingers, which brawler is assigned to which rarity? Pearl, Mandy, Maisie, Sam, Lola, Ash, Belle, Gale, and Colette are the new epic brawlers. The brawlers assigned to the mythic rarity are Lou, Ruffs, Buzz, Fang, Janet, Otis, RT, Charlie, E, Eve and Buster. And finally, Cordelius and Surge round out the legendary brawlers. Right now, chroma credits are distributed through various means in Brawl Stars. You have them in the Brawl Pass, we have them in the Masteries, the Shop as well, the Trophy Road, and in your account. That's if you haven't already spent them. So obviously the next question is going to be how are chroma credits converted to regular credits? So basically every unclean chroma credit in the Brawl Pass and in the Trophy Road is going to be converted into regular credits. Now the exchange rate is going to be 1.85 credits for every single chroma credit that you currently have. So any unclaimed chroma credits from the preceding and the current Brawl Pass season will be automatically claimed as credits in the latest season. They are going to be going automatically to Wars Miko, which will be the newest brawler coming out in Brawl Stars. Well, if you have all your brawlers collected, it's going to go towards fame, which is a bit of a big yikes there. But I'm going to be explaining why it's not going to be as big as we might make it seem to be in a few minutes. So master rewards are based on the brawler's rarity. So that means that the brawlers that are currently chromatic are going to be reassigned to whatever tiers, as I mentioned earlier. But that also means that their rewards are going to be assigned as well. To that specific track that they're on so if a brawler was chromatic and now they're epic they're gonna get epic mastery rewards so that's gonna be a little bit of a nerf to certain brawlers but let me explain mythic brawlers legendary brawlers have basically the same amount of resources that they do give out when you get to the same tiers in the mastery up to silver two it's all the same on silver three however chromatic brawlers get 100 chroma credits whereas mythic and legendary brawlers get 200 regular credits and with a conversion rate you're going to be getting 185 regular credits if you have a chromatic brawler that does get converted to this system that's a net loss of 15 credits per chromatic brawler that does get changed to a legendary or mythic tier it's honestly not that much but it is still a loss that you have to consider and that loss totals about 180 credits there are going to be nine chromatic brawlers that end up becoming epic brawlers when the new system goes up that's going to be a lot of significant significant reward loss there, especially if you haven't got to Silver 3 already. If you haven't made any progress towards masteries of these brawlers, I think now is the best time for you to do so because you're going to be losing out on a lot of rewards. 9,000 coins, 1350 power points, and 540 credits. That is a huge amount. If you get to Bronze 1 with these 9 epic brawlers, you're basically guaranteed an additional 2,250 coins, which is a pretty big boost. It's also going to be offsetting the loss if you don't make it a Silver 3 because that's going to be 6,750 coins that you're going to be out of pocket. So I don't know. I think that if I was you, I would probably try pushing those epic big brawlers to higher tier levels and if you get a silver three you basically don't lose out on any rewards from the epic path so any chroma credits that you have claimed but not spent just yet are going to be converted to credits at the rate of 1.85 credits to chroma credit and subsequently it's going to be sent to your inbox just remember though that the inbox can only hold about 20 messages because if you ever get past that 20 meshes threshold, that just gets deleted. There is no way to recover it. So remember, keep it in the back of your mind that you still have some credits in your inbox that you can use at any point. That's going to be a small bank of some credits that you could use in the future. But just keep in mind that you might not be able to hold on to it forever. Some more changes are that chroma credits are not going to be available from the daily shop or the daily rewards or through the jackpots anymore. So we're going to have a few changes to the Brawl Pass season, and that's going to be a little bit contentious hold on and hang on with me so what's going to happen is that all your previous rewards which are unclaimed in your previous brawl pass season the ones before that are going to be claimed in the next season 
So whatever you get this season, it's going to be automatically claimed when the next season starts in January. That means that all your resources are going to be delivered to your account. But make note that it's not going to be to your inbox. So it's not like a bank. It's just going to go directly to your account. Chroma credits are going to be converted to credits at the same rate of 1.85 credits to Chroma credits. And it's all going to be going towards the newest brawler that needs to be unlocked. In this case, it's going to be into Miko. But in case you already have all the brawlers and in case they don't release a new brawler for whatever reason in the new season that is going to go all towards your fame so i'm pretty sure people are going to be pissed about that one <laughs> if you want to make sure that you get your chroma credits in your inbox instead log in game right now claim all of them otherwise it's going to be converted to credits and it might just fizzle out so basically what this means is that you can't use your credits for future seasons you can just use it for the next one but not for anything after that all other resources should basically be unchanged because they're all uncapped right we've got power points uncapped gold has been uncapped as well bling also technically there is a cap but you can collect it past that amount just for the sake of security so that people don't lose out on bling so unfortunately those are a lot of changes coming to brawl stars which you guys may or may not like but the dev team have a method to the madness and this is what they are claiming they stated that things will settle down a bit once a new brawl pass season starts and we get into that regular rhythm and cadence off the new system so what they said is that they are aiming to release a brawler every single season season with the brawl pass so that means that all of the credits will not go automatically to fame but to the latest brawler coming out so as long as there is a new brawler coming out that means you don't lose out on those credits honestly when i read that i breathed a sigh of relief because I felt like this was just so, so wrong, but you know, it's not as bad because of this. So with the introduction of Chucks, they started the early access kind of method right now for releasing brawlers. So what's going to happen is that all the new brawlers that are going to be coming out will be available in star drops as well once the early access has ended. So you still have the possibility of getting one of these brawlers from the star drop itself. Charlie is also going to be available in star drops after this bizarre circus season ends in January. So the dev team basically said multiple times that they don't exactly like the implementation of the fame system. It was sort of a placeholder and they are looking to change things up a bit. But right now they have a few plans of how things are going to be shaping up. They haven't given us specifics, but we know that in the first update of 2024, there are going to be some changes. It's going to be mostly to cosmetics in fame. And the fact that they said it's going to be in the first update, it's probably going to be in maybe February of 2024, because that is technically the first update of that year. So basically, the cosmetics that you do get from fame are based on the specific level, right? You have goal one, goal two, goal three, moon one, moon two, moon three, whatever. So based on that, in the level one, you get the profile picture. Level two, you get the pin and level three, you get the frame. So those are the tentative plans for fame, but those can obviously be changed before their update actually rolls around so keep that in mind finally the fun part from december 11th to december 12th there is a new community event called chroma no more and that's to say goodbye to the chromatic rarity in brawl stars the big goal this time is the same as last time it is 4 billion takedowns within this period but instead for each milestone you will unlock a new event it could be a chroma shower it could be a coin shower it could be a token shower as well so right as the event starts you get double star drops for 500 million takedowns you get 1.5 times the mastery madness that's going to allow you to get the mastery cap even faster at 1 billion takedowns you get coin shower which will give you coins for every token that you earn at 1.5 billion takedowns you get chroma credit shower which will give you one chroma credit for five tokens earned at 2 billion takedowns you get token shower which will double everything that you got before so basically for every five tokens that you get you get two chroma credits instead of one that is kind of insane plus you also get a stack mastery madness on top of the star drops as well at 3 billion takedowns your mastery madness gets upgraded so instead of 1.5 times the mastery you get two times the mastery finally at 4 billion takedowns you get a legendary star drop so just a reminder that events stack so if you get a milestone what's going to happen is that all the preceding milestones that you hit you get all those rewards and the current one that you newly get so that is a lot of rewards they're going to be getting from brawl stars so remember when i said that if you don't hit silver three with your epic brawlers that you might miss out on a lot of rewards and resources well with the mastery madness on this chroma no more event you're going to be able to hit those much much faster and that's way way better but the caveat is that you can't go above the mastery cap every single day 
you can check the progress bar in game in the news tab and it will be updated every 30 minutes. And finally, I'll also be hosting a Chroma No More giveaway. Thanks to Supercell, I'll be giving away five Brawl Pass Pluses. And there is a possibility of five lucky winners throughout the community who might just get the Chroma Code. And if you get the Chroma Code, you will also be able to not only get the Brawl Pass Plus, but have all of your Chromatic Brawlers unlocked. But that's going to be January, so follow me on TikTok and join my Discord to participate. If you like this video, you might like this one here. And remember to use code PEN in the Brawl Stars shop.